Hey Aries, it's Kay with Good Karma Tarot. This is going to be your weekly energy for the next seven days or so. Let me get that light on so that you can see the cards. Okay, so I already have a few oracles out for you and then we're going to clarify with the Rider Waite Tarot. So your overall energy is dreams coming true and the Five of Swords with the Throat Chakra in reverse. So I feel that you've been going through a lot of conflict lately. You could feel like you're in battle with someone or even just in battle with yourself. This can be a lot of mental conflict as well. But with dreams coming true, I really feel that this has to do with your own personal happiness. For some of you, you have a wish fulfillment coming in this week, either with love or a connection of some kind. And if it isn't a wish fulfillment with love, this is aligning with your own personal values in order to bring love in or even a career potentially because we do have success and growth as your next card and then we have the lovers which is a gemini energy and we have master so because we did see the five of swords and then also the throat chakra in reverse and then with this master I feel that some of you are containing your emotions you might be bottling up your emotions so be cautious of that make sure that you're doing your shadow work and doing necessary healing in order to pull you out of this five of swords energy where you just feel like you're in battle with yourself or with someone else so some of you with the throat chakra in reverse it's like some of you are not speaking your truth about something or not being honest with yourself about something. And once you speak up about this, you're going to feel so much emotional fulfillment. But I'm feeling a lot of fear around this for those that resonate with that. So some of you might be beginning a new career this week. Um, or this, this eight. Yeah, success and growth. So... This can also be just you working on yourself is what I'm picking up. They're telling me to clarify. So I'm going to go ahead and get into clarification and let's see what's going on with this success and growth. I hope I called you Aries at the beginning of the reading. I think I did. <laughs> but yeah, if not, this is Aries. <laughs> All right, success and growth. Oh. All right, so we have the Four of Cups. Some of you might feel that you missed an opportunity or something is being presented to you this week. And be cautious, though, because you might not be seeing this offer or this opportunity that is coming in for you. And then we have the King of Cups. Could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you are in a relationship, you could be working on your relationship right now with success and growth and then also the king of cups. Um, some of you might also be experiencing boredom or discontentment in your relationship. So, so be cautious of that. Okay. Yeah. So we have the nine of swords here. So this is anxiety. Um, again, a lot of mental conflict. You're worried about something. You're worried about something. For some of you, you might be worried about your finances or even your own emotional growth, a relationship, whatever it is for you. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, it's kind of an energy of something haunting you. And you're really up in your head about things. You're overthinking things, having a difficult time staying present. And spirit saying, be cautious of be cautious of this. Bring yourself back to a place of love with the King of Cups there. Also, some of you might be getting an intuitive nudge about something or someone. And you're very, you're very fearful that it's true. What is this lover's card? I knew that was going to come out. Okay. 
So first up we have the Page of Swords. So you're doing some research. Uh, some of you are... It's interesting because he's looking back at the past. Libra just got this same card <laughs> and kind of the same message with it. It's like you're gathering information from the past or you're trying to understand something better. Why there's all this mental conflict here. For some of you, you could be, I'm hearing social media stalking somebody. It's definitely possible. Somebody that you experience a really heavy ending with, with the Ten of Swords. Good news is you're going from the Nine to the Ten. So something in your life is ending. Um, this is an energy of being betrayed, being backstabbed. Some, this was a really painful ending for you. And with the Four of Pentacles, it's kind of an energy like you're holding on to this pain or this is something in the past that had already ended and you've completely closed yourself off to new experiences because of this. And yeah, you're just holding on to the pain. And there's really a need to dive deep within this. If you have Libra in your chart or you're dealing with a Libra, go check that out because it's a very similar message. A little bit different cards, but yeah. So it's like with the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, I'm, the message that I'm getting with this is once you let go of this and once you truly allow yourself to heal from this, you have something new coming in with this Ace of Pentacles here. And this is going to be something that's more stable for you, something more secure and grounded. The Pentacles is all about... Um, this is like somebody who's reliable, somebody that you can depend on if this is a person or if this is a career. It definitely could be because we have the King of Pentacles here. So if it is a career, I see something new coming in for you. Or if you're looking to get financial help, that could be coming in as well. So I feel that this is about really, again, diving deep within yourself, understanding what it is that you value and learning to align yourself to these values. So let's clarify this MasterCard. It's kind of like you guys are in a prison. You're in a prison, you're stuck in your emotions, um, also just stuck in your head overall. What is this? Thank you. Okay. So we have the Page of Wands. So this could have to do with a child too, if you're a parent. You could be worried about your child, something like that. What else do we have, Master? I'm just dropping cards all over the place. Yeah. We have the Two of Swords here. Card flipped over. Got it. Okay. So we have the Two of Swords here. So it's kind of like you're blindfolding yourself to something. There's something you're not really wanting to see. This is also about being emotionally blo blocked or you could also be making a decision um, specifically about whatever this was in the past. And honestly, I feel that with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and then also the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you're feeling very unbounded. I feel unbalanced unbounded okay anyways you're feeling unbalanced for sure you're wanting an equal partnership though or something that just feels aligned to your soul and this could definitely have to do with family members friends um broken marriage something something like that it'll be different for all of you but this two swords energy the decision you're making or whatever it is that you're not wanting to see could have to do with the scorpio we did have the king of cups earlier um some of you just aren't wanting to see the ending of a relationship or of a situation and you're holding on too tightly to it. For others, you're resisting change, you're resisting your transformation, but I feel that this is going to shift for you though because we do have the Nine of Cups here and this is your overall energy, you getting a wish fulfillment, your dreams coming true your own emotional stability and happiness. Can I get one more card for this master? Got two more. So it could have to do with the Leo. We have strength here. It was in reverse though. Scorpio, Leo, energy, and then the three of cups. 
And then we have Sagittarius energy at the bottom. Temperance. We have the Ace of Cups. The Queen of Wands. And then the Seven of Wands in reverse. And the Three of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Or Nine of Pentacles. So it's kind of like... One thing they want me to say is this is about having patience with yourself. Some of you are waiting on love and there's definitely a need to have patience because all things happen in divine timing and things are kind of like balancing out before this can come in for you. And I'm seeing with the three of swords here, there you're going to get to a place with the three of swords and the seven of wands where you're really going to let go of this relationship and stop fighting for it or the situation, whatever it is that you're holding on to. You're, you're slowly getting to this place of letting go, I'm hearing, and stepping back into your power. So with the Nine of Pentacles, this is all about self-sufficiency, learning how to stand on your own two feet. You're building yourself up right now, and I feel that this is what you're working towards. We do have Gemini energy again with the lovers. So again, you're aligning your... You're building yourself up and you're aligning to your true values, understanding what you really want in a partner or in a career, whatever this is for you. And it's like once you do this, once you do this, love's going to come in for you, something that you're connected to on a soul level, potential twin flame soulmate that I'm seeing. So I'm going to pull one more card. Alright, let's get to get one more oracle card. Actually, one more, because, yeah. So, see, this reminds me of the temperance card, too. The temple path. You're on a path to find peace within. But the first card that came out was deceit. So I feel that in the past, you dealt with a lot of deceitful people, or the person, or situation you were dealing with there was that energy of betrayal being deceived by somebody who's dishonest potentially cheated whatever the case is for you but this is also about self-sabotaging yourself from finding what it is that you want and aligning with that but i do see you overcoming this and i find i see you finding peace within yourself with the temple path you actually have a very significant life purpose as well. This isn't just about your soulmate or twin flame. This is also about, yeah, it's about your life purpose. It's about finding peace within yourself. And I feel like you're going to do something that really helps a lot of people with this temple path energy. So stay hopeful. Um, allow yourself to transform this energy, this pain, allow yourself to really let go of whatever this is because it's blocking you from having exactly what it is that you desire. And Spirit's saying, you know, once you let this go and you learn your lesson, you have something new coming in for you, something way better than you've experienced in the past that isn't deceitful or dishonest, um, that kind of energy. Just trust that you are being led to something or someone so much better than you could even imagine right now. And I know it's hard to let go of a soul connection or um, a career, whatever it is, but it's so necessary. You have to let go of one thing in order to let something else in. So do your best to find peace within, find forgiveness in your heart, and allow yourself to really step onto this path of enlightenment. Okay, so Aries, that's everything I have for you for this week. I hope you have a great week, Aries, and yeah, I'm in your corner. I'm rooting for you, but yeah. So if you like this video or it resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, and it helps out my channel, and it helps me get my message out there. You guys have a great week. Bye.